<laughs> oh, okay. We're getting really aggressive on to Becca here, and Blank is here for an early gank. No help for Becca, as he is actually going to try to flash away, but not will not be successful at the end of the day. We also have the stun the early game in game one, but definitely looking to prove himself a little bit here in game number two. Piozik's so in trouble. Did. Yeah, Piozik really going for this uh, scuttle here is going to be punished as Doran just flashes on him and one shots him. This is going to bait Kingen into a bad position as well as he's not even going to fly from what we saw in the mid lane. Bow has no idea. They have no vision. They're going to get a flash right. and Becca. Yeah. Immediately they go for Becca. No flash here for oh, the set. Yeah. This is their way back in the game. If they can get this and try to take a team fight afterwards, there certainly is potential for them. But you see that they are not exactly, you know, Becca's level five here. So is Zeus, I suppose. Both the supports not having a fun time. Great engage here. Becca trying to make something happen. A great shockwave does come in. But KT, they're not going to over... DRX have not gotten a single Drake in this series. And honestly, I don't think that's going to change here. <laughs> I don't think they have any way of getting on in here. The teleport is committed to by Doran. And you see Yukal is in the back line now trying to force this. Will flash away from the sleep setup. And now we have the big engage. So much was used onto Yukal. And now there is no escape. Becca just trying to create room for Bao. Will be successful on that front. But Kate, maybe this is their moment. Maybe they try to get in here, but teleport advantage or no kt they have the pressure with the rift heralds they have doran rotating down and they will be looking to fight aggressively as they look to take down becca decent amount of chunk damage there onto him but yukal extremely low in the mid lane as well now this is uh this is drx's chance that's a really nice spot for that ball to be for kt trying to chase okay there's the teleport look at yukal's positioning yep. he's so safe he's gonna do so oh. much damage in this fight <laughs> Yeah, it'll be hard to get on top of him. You see the ball positioning is, is specifically to zone away Yukal, but Bao gets caught, has to dash away here. The poke is going to force DRX back, and that is going to be Drake number eight in favor of KT. Now Becca trying to get an engage here. Goes kind of Rambo, does catch two, but here comes Zeus, and Yukal over the wall goes Rambo, making a different meaning to that word. But now we do have Doran making so much magic happen. He's going to go down, though, as maybe KT went a little bit too far. I feel like they should uh, back You can away. see the poke that's coming out. Yeah. It, it, it's, it's pretty rough for KT to deal with. We'll see if they still commit to this. Zeus looking to come around the back. And DRX should know about this. They're going to see him now. And here we go. Zeus has to pull the trigger. Gets into the back line. But there is zero follow-up. Blank is getting poked out as well. And there goes down the cow. This is so far. The shockwave is going to miss. Bao is going to come on in. There's the double kill for him as well. And Zeus is so late to join once again. I don't think KT right. can contest this. I think they should just give this up. Blank is going to look for the steal. He has ult and smite. Let's see if he can do it. They're going to CC him. And actually, they're going to wait. They want to turn this fight around. They don't care about the Baron. Zeus gets that engaged. And here we go. KT finally find an entrance in here. A double kill now for Blank as Doran baits in another one. Kingen is going to go down. So that is so many shields. Is in, live. in live, we got mid on mid action. It was unfortunate for them, but they win it. Then win that solo kill. We're going to watch this again and see how this actually unfolded. So Yukal actually just goes onto him, just straight up, Chaos Storm, and the Shockwave is just not enough to save him. That was just a straight up uh, walk. But now KT have taken back control of the map. They have control over... Okay, well this is a rough spot to be in if oh you're kinging. This is not how you win this game for DRX, although they are well, going to trade it there for Zeus. Eventually, they get him through, but Kingen is going to be engaged, and Doran is so massive in this front line. You've got a big horse, of course, as well to follow up there. The Samira engage is going to do a lot of damage, but that is not enough, and DRX get caught out, and KT will push to win. Yep, that's it. All it takes is one mistake, and that's what I was leading to before this happened, is they have vision control, they have map control, they're trying to clear out some words on the uh, Drake, so they can look for that final ocean soul. And it just doesn't matter uh, when you actually try to come in and, and just get caught with your pants down like Kingen does. That's not a, a tank that has a great escape, or that's not even a tank, it's a top laner that doesn't have an escape. It's Jace! <laughs> you, can't, you can't actually just face check like that. And that's game. That's the series. Yep. Attempt here by DRX was good. There are a few good fights for them, a few good objectives, but at the end of the day, some small mistakes lead to their demise. Yeah, that's going to do it here. Becca, he's being generous today, or at least...